What's up everyone and welcome to FAQ number 89. I'm here together with my good friends here in uh, on Discord. I'm just hoping right now that none of them will take off their clothes and demonetize this video. But yeah, I'm basically having Discord on this computer right here and I'm talking to people. And uh, oh, this is a nice guy over here, that's Schmexist, a nice little Swede for you. Just plug in my Discord again. If you are a YouTube member, download Discord, it's amazing. I've been hanging with tons of peeps and uh, we've been sharing shit. I just basically put it on in the morning and I let it go and roll while I film uh, and do videos here and uh, people can just do whatever. Uh, exciting news, shit. Hola, exciting news, sir. This week released the new G-Type solar guitars. Among them is this one, which it's not really that new, I guess, because you've seen it a bunch of times. This is the Ola... Uh, can it become more Ola than this? Probably not, but this is like the narcissistic Ola England guitar right here. This is a test. This little logo here, which I think it kind of looks badass. But yeah, this is a really nice guitar. It has a brushed finish where it's not gloss, you know, whatever tune and stainless steel frets. Oh, look at that motherfucking headstock. People are like, oh, Ola, you so why are you using a, a inline reversed headstock on a Les Paul uh, uh, single cut shaped guitar? I don't give a shit. It looks badass, okay? That's what I'm telling you, okay? So we have a bunch of new models coming. I'll uh, link a couple of pictures here. We have Floyd Rose and 7th string. Holy shit. Let me put this somewhere. Single cut, available now. You can pre-order, they're, uh, they're available. I think we ship now at the end of May, so yeah, finally. I'm actually kind of sad right now, you know why? When I was in Australia, I bought a Nintendo 2DS console for myself, and I bought Zelda with it, because uh, my son is hogging my Switch playing Zelda, but unfortunately now, when I thought I bought my new uh, Nintendo 2DS, that I would get some Zelda time, my wife hogs my Nintendo 2DS playing Zelda. Great! So I guess I have to work and make videos. Sucks. Okay. First question. <laughs> Andre Grossia. Andrew Gross. Gr Grossia. Andrew Grossia. I'm so excited for the carcass video. Me too, man. I haven't even started yet. I haven't even started planning, but it will happen. I promise. It will happen. Like, pretty soon. And uh, now everyone's hyping it up and everyone's gonna be disappointed. That's just how it is. Just imagine it being a really shitty video and then when I release it, everyone's gonna be happy and uh, super stoked. Okay, great, next question. Matt R, early as fuck. Forgetting plugins, what are your three fave things to do to a guitar tone to make it juicy and stand out in the mix? Great question. How do you make a guitar tone stand out in a mix? Well, one thing you can do is turn down the gain on your guitar. So yeah, you don't need as much gain as you think when you record guitars. You're gonna have two guitars, one left, one right, maybe even four, two left, two right, and a bass guitar in the center. There's gonna be so much things happening that if you use too much gain, it's just gonna be a mush, basically. So turn down the gain. Uh, other things to do, just remove that. Oh, who's that guy? Some guy there on my Discord. Can I zoom in on his face? I can! You're alive, buddy. Oh, no, 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 wrong guitar. That's the wrong guitar. No, 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 wrong brand, wrong brand. Okay, can, is there a guy with a solo guitar here? Remove, if you are using an EQ, you should remove some 4K hertz. Just hurts your ears, okay? So 4K, you can, you can remove some of that. Also, you can remove some uh, 250, 250 hertz. And uh, that's also, you know, just gro gro not groping because that's something else that's illegal. Do not grope. You can uh, cut some 250. You cut some 250, will remove some of that muddiness to your sound. And then the last thing I would do on an EQ is just remove everything. It's just gonna sound better altogether. Julix Shukovsky, 1210. What's the title of the song in the background at 1210? I checked, it's my uh, Solar Part 1. I have a solo album out. It's called Master of the Universe. You can probably buy it somewhere. It's pretty, okay. Blind Silence. Hi, Ola. My question is about guitar wood body. Most used wood materials are mahogany, alder, and bass wood. But what do you think about ash for metal guitar? Greetings from Bulgarian in Finland. Angel, my name. Uh, I'm actually using ash in a couple of my different guitars. But obviously I don't have one here when I think about it. Because, you know, I'm Ola, the planner of non-planning things. 
so I can't show you, but I have a, I have a bunch of swamp ass <laughs> swamp, swamp ass models on the website. You can go check them out. It's excellent swamp ash, the best body wood there is. E guitar two three four. Okay, what's the pedal every guitar player should have on their board? Love your music and the vids. Keep it up. Great. I think that people would expect me to say that you need a noise gate on your pedal board, but I would say a really good overdrive would probably be uh, a very significant pedal if you play metal, that is, that is. If I go live, for instance, and play a show wherever and there's a, you know, backline, you never know what you're gonna get. You might get like a dual rectifier or a 5150, pretty classic backline amplifiers. Having an overdrive is just like, you just shove it in there and it's suddenly super metal. So there you go. A really good overdrive. Hmm. What do you want to get? Horizon Devices Precision Drive. That's a good one. The Fortin Grind. Great pedal. Uh, the classic Ibanez Tube Screamer, like a TS9. Hmm. Goes together really well with the dual rectifier and a 5150. So there you go. Kamatia David Luzi. Hey Ola, do you have a manager to get your YouTube life, your musician life and your solar business easier to manage? Or are you in charge of all the stuffs? If so, you are awesome. Thank you so much. Yes. Uh, no, I do not have a manager. If I would ever have a manager, they would probably have a problem with managing me because I'm just all over the place all the time. And you know, I think a lot. Believe it or not, I actually think like a lot. You can ask my wife. She's talking to me all the time, but I'm just not listening because I'm thinking. It's a problem. Uh, communication problem that we have but yeah no I manage everything myself all the plans with the YouTube that's all me uh, solar guitars obviously me together with my colleagues and uh, yeah that's it I mean I, there, there's no magic behind this it's just this dude right here planning shit Alessandro our silly hey Ola can you make the clean intro to Godless Devotion your next riff of the day thank you fuck yeah I'll do that that was a long time ago Riff of the day! <laughs> Riff of the day! That clean part from Godless Devotion, uh, Cinder. So here's the clean intro to Godless Devotion. Goes like this. No, it does not go like that. That's exactly how it's not going. Now I have to wait out the reverb. Okay, let's try again. The good thing about it is that you still have your fuck off finger here that you can pull fuck off for people like in the audience like Hey, what's up? I'm playing this really clean awesome riff, but still fuck you. Goat Sturgeon. Hola, what's up potato chip? Hey, did you ever get into Fear Factory? The manufacturer album was killer back in the day and still can still pick, keep up with today's albums in my opinion. Keep up the awesome work. Yeah, I'm a fan of uh, Fear Factory, but I didn't become a true true fan up until obsolete actually i mean i heard the manufacturer before and i had some uh, friends that listened to the album but i didn't really understand fear factory until they released obsolete which is a sick ass album by the way i just recently saw fear factory recently by saying like two or three years ago <laughs> but uh, i saw them here in stockholm and i was amazed on how awesome they sounded live uh, it was the first time i saw them live and i was so surprised hearing how awesome burton c bell was on stage and uh yeah it was just such a kick-ass gig and dino i met him a couple of times super nice awesome dude that i would love to hang a lot more with uh, maybe i can get him for a coffee with ola sometime i really hope so maybe at nam next year that would be kick-ass i would love to do that dentan hey hey old hello ola if you could listen to only one song for the rest of your life which song would you pick keep up the awesome work i was about to say Benny Hill, but with my serious answer, I would say uh, The Sleep by Pantera because I think it's just a It's just a badass song. I just love that song The Sleep Solo nah. 
Vocals, mwah. Guitars, mwah. Drums, mwah. Everything's just mwah. The Sleep, Pantera, Chaos Metal album. Jacko Van Taya. Hi Ola, I'm sitting here watching RFQ and eating reindeer and smashed potatoes. What is your favorite form of potato? Smash potatoes? Ha! Ah! <laughs> Smash potatoes. Uh, ma I think you mean mashed potatoes. Okay? French fries, chips or crisps? Something else. Oh, great question by the way. It really brings up the content quality of my channel. Uh, yeah, I guess I, I like uh, french fries. But I really like a good smashed potato. That's, that's some good shit right there. Nate Millsap. Oh, I've expected my fanboy status to you a little over a year ago. I'm amazed. When you went to Australia to visit this Dimes Land uh, in your recent video, you played so many amazing and authentic Dimebag Watchmen guitars. It was so amazing. I was wondering out of all the guitars you played that day, which one you liked the best when it came to appearance, feel and sound. Cheers, Ola. Thank you so much. I was in Australia in Melbourne over at uh, Frank's place to check out his amazing guitar collection of Dimebag guitars. Uh, if you haven't seen that video, it's a link over here. I loved, obviously, the Southern Cross the absolute most. The Southern Cross is just, I've said it so many times, it's the holy grail of my existence. That's like whenever, ever since that guitar came out, it's just been on my wish list. And it's been impossible to get a hold of one uh, without forking out a shit ton of money. So uh, yeah, that was definitely like my my favorite one out of the bunch. But he also had this dime slime that was just, sounded fucking killer to be honest. Uh, so yeah. Those are the guitars that I uh, enjoy the most over at Frank's place, and he's a lucky motherfucker. <laughs> Carol Neumann, thank you for all your work. FAQ. The more I watch your videos on Dime McDaryl and his tone, the more I wonder why you're not playing on a solid state amp. Was Dime Mac wrong to play on a solid state amp? Uh, personally, I just prefer tube amplifiers a lot more, and I think that 9 out of 10 cases, I think that tube amplifiers just absolutely slays solid state amplifiers. But with Dimebag and his tone with the solid state, that's just something else. And obviously, no, D Dimebag did not do wrong by playing solid state amps. He made that his own sound, the way he set everything up, and you know, he found his tone through solid state amps. And you know, that type of tone, I love that to death. But other than that, I just think that tube amplifiers are just way more ballsy just way more real sounding. There's something, you know, gritty happening in the higher end of a solid state amplifier which uh, works really well with Dimebag's tone, but not so much with other types of metal, in my opinion. I, mean, I know Def and uh, Chuck used the uh, Valve State, for instance, and the Valve State is one of those few really good Valve State or Solid State amplifiers that are out there. So, thank you. Jake Raybon. Yo, Ola, what do you think about the new Gibson lineup? I know it's not super metal, but I'm seriously considering the SG Modern or Les Paul Modern. They look very versatile. Any thoughts? Anyway, love you. Thank you so much. Okay, I'm gonna look it up. Oh, where do you go? My friends on Discord. Gibson website. Gibson.com. Is that a thing? Maybe that's Mel Gibson. No, it's actually G Gibson's website. Great. Uh, okay, where do I find news? News. Where is the news? Where are the fridges? Do they make fridges? No, that's Marshall. Sorry. Okay, the modern collection. Was that the one? Yeah, the modern. Okay, let's check it out. Les Paul Modern. Yeah. Doesn't really look that modern, but... This is not... Maybe this is a modern color. Maybe I need to update myself. That looks pretty cool. Seriously considering the SG Modern or the Les Paul Modern. Okay. I'll go with that. It looks like a Les Paul. That's cool. That's cool. SG Modern. Here we go. Ooh, that looks kind of cool, actually. Is that... Oh, that's... Ooh, I can't see it. You can see it slightly, but there's a little flame in there. Like a gray flame. Uh, no. No, thank you. But this black one looked really, really awesome. Control knobs. Clear top hats. Great. There you go. You know, I actually don't have that much knowledge on what Gibson are offering. It's not like I follow their, their marketing plan or anything like that. Is there anyone with a robotic tuner here? I thought that was a good idea. Everyone hated it, but it, uh, yeah, I kind of kind of dug that idea with robots and shit. Paul Alexander before was about guitar. Now it's a smartass that thinks he is a YouTube superstar and he acts like he is best than all the rest. Waste of my time. Uh, 
Is that a problem now? Gort Pap, Aola, you have shown us the amount of women that watch your videos, but what about other groups? Age, country, what are your viewers like? Look at all my friends. I have all my friends here at the Discord server. They're so beautiful. All right, so uh, Ola Insight right now. You're going to see an insight on my videos. Shit, look at this. The last 28 days, 13 million minutes watched. Uh, 2.1 million views. Shit, that's actually pretty good. Okay, 13 to 7 years old. That's 1%, 0% female. <laughs> Obviously, the biggest group is are the ones that are... 25 to 34 years old, 0.6% women, uh, 0.4, 0.2, 0.3. I, indeed, okay, I need to work on my age 13 to 17 in the women uh, department because there's 0.0% 0, 0. 0 there. Geography, okay. Ooh, shit, okay. US, 34% watch time is in the US only. That's pretty fucking insane, I must say. That's great. And Great Britain after that. Basically, uh, Europe, I guess. Sweden. Ah, oh, represent my peeps in Sweden. Canada, Germany, Australia, Brazil, France, Finland, Poland, Mexico. Wow, this is fun. Oh, yeah. Okay, here. Yeah, this, this looks great. I guess, actually, like, if you count Europe together, uh, it's basically uh, probably the same as North America in somewhat sense. So, my uh, biggest block of users is most definitely in the US, North America and in Europe. But then again, you can see all these Australians in here. They're, that's cool. And uh, Japan, Philippines, Greece, Indonesia. So I know, yeah, people just all over the world coming together, hugging. Ashley Willis, hola, use the Snapchat filter that will make you look like a whammon and show us in the next video. Has it really come to this? Do I have Snapchat? Oh shit, I actually do have Snapchat. Filter, you say? Okay, let's do this. What do we have? Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that's so disturbing. <laughs> oh my god, okay, let's make a... Okay! <laughs> Might be the most beautiful woman I've ever seen, actually. Okay, look at this. What's up with that? <laughs> <laughs> with the fucking hair on the lips there. Yeah. I yeah. <laughs> ba ba ba. This is way more up my alley. Look at this. That's that's just yeah. To be honest, I think that looks better than the whammon picture right there. Okay. That was actually the last question. Guys, thank you so much for joining in on this FAQ. You know I say this a lot of times, but I do actually very much appreciate all your support and well wishing. You're you're amazing, guys. I can't say it enough. I have the best and most mature followers out there, and it's just uh, I almost want to cry. It's so awesome. I'm very happy right now. And, you know, having my friends here on Discord. Who's this guy? Are they laughing at me? Are you laughing at me? Anyway, I'm just saying, you guys are amazing. Thank you so much for sticking with me and uh, my members. Thank you so much for being awesome and, you know, just easy to hang around with. Uh, if you're interested in becoming a member, you can click join downstairs beneath the video and you go to Discord and you just sign up and you'll be able to chat with me whenever, basically. So, thank you so much, guys. Have a really good Sunday afternoon, okay? Thank you. Bye.